The sense of scale involved in looking in the sky is enormous. You realize that we live on a tiny spaceship that's orbiting this average star in a galaxy full of 200 billion stars. I think when people come up from the cities, often one of the first things I hear is, oh my God, I can't believe how many stars there are. And it's true, there's an infinite amount of stars. And when you live your life in the cities and the suburbs and places surrounded by lights, you don't really get to appreciate how profound and magnificent the night sky is. We think people have been looking at this night sky from this place for maybe eight or 9,000 years. For me, I just feel that kinship with people across time, uh, the people I'm standing here with presently as well as the people who have been here before. This is Stars Over Yosemite, the Glacier Point Star Party. This is one of the best places in the country to observe the night skies. We have not only dark skies because we are well away from the city lights, but we also have steady skies. Uh, it's just something about the nature of being here at 7,200 feet. I've had probably more good nights at Glacier Point than pretty much anywhere else. So many kids are growing up in urban settings and even suburban settings that the light pollution is so intense until you leave that setting and go out to a place where there is a dark night sky, you have no idea what you're missing. A lot of people that live in cities haven't even seen the Milky Way. So most people don't even know that it's there because there's, you know, the, skylight is mainly, the sky is mainly the color of the, the street lights of their city. When people come out here, it's just, they're just amazed at what they can see. And once, once you get dark adapted, then you, can, you actually can see your shadow out here from the mil light of the Milky Way. It's that dark. One of the reasons that astronomers like to come here and do these public programs is we love to share what we know. We love to take our really cool equipment and share views that we see all the time with people who never get a chance to see this. Oh, wow. The big oval shape, that's the Andromeda Galaxy. There's about 600 billion stars there. There's more stars in that galaxy than there are people on the Earth by a factor of 100. This is called the, the Ring Nebula, the ring and the, nebula. the star blew out a lot of its gas and this big ring of, of gas. This is so cool. Right now I'm looking at M51, which is a galaxy. Okay. It's about 25 million light years away. So there's, there's a good you know, two or 300 billion stars in that galaxy. Wow. And figure there's probably a dozen planets around each star, so you're probably yes, looking at somewhere in the range of 30 billion planets as well. Wow. <laughs> Why do you find all this interesting? Why? Yeah. I find it fascinating <laughs> just to be able to learn about the universe, what is out there in the universe. So I've come up here to Pothole Dome up in the Tuolumne Meadows region of Yosemite National Park because I want to shoot some time-lapse tonight. You know, I'm shooting this footage because this is something I'm passionate about. I love being able to show the beauty of Yosemite and especially to be able to show that through the nighttime skies. And I'm really excited because I've just recently been able to start doing longer dolly moves. So I'm gonna go for a 12 foot move tonight and the moon's gonna come up about halfway during the move, which is gonna give a really cool effect. And so when the moon hits, you know, it'll light up the scene really nicely. And yet before it hits, we'll also be able to get to see the stars in all their glory and the Milky Way. So coming to a place like Yosemite, it gives you an experience of a lifetime to be able to look up at the stars and realize how small we really are in this ultimate universe that we live in. In the national parks, we really value this dark night sky experience. So we're actually quantifying it. Uh, we have a dark night sky team looking at what the skies look like in our national parks. Started taking digital imagery of the horizons to see what the light pollution levels were to know if our 
dark night sky experience is improving or decreasing and thereby be able to take measures with the nearby communities to help preserve that night sky experience. Light pollution is something that we can change overnight. You can change the bulb that you put in your outdoor light. You can put a covering on it so it focuses just where you want the light instead of putting that light out that, that we're seeing as light pollution. Fear of the dark is a very powerful thing. And for those of us who love the dark, we hope to uh, convince other people that the dark doesn't have to be quite so scary and that we can recover a lot of the night sky that we've lost. It's a very important part of Yosemite and it, it deserves to be part of what's protected in this park.